Hey third and fourth graders. So this week I decided to give you guys a different challenge than the rest of the school. So since it is right before spring break and Easter, I wanted to do a little spring picture with you guys. So we are going to be working with overlapping. And if you remember earlier in the year, we were working with things that are looking like they are far away and up close to us. And the way that an artist will do that, if you remember, is by changing the sizes or by using overlapping. And that's what we're going to be doing with this picture. So if you notice, our eggs that are in the front are overlapping the eggs that are behind them, just like back here too. So now we can kind of look like the eggs are all in a row and they are all kind of in front of each other. You can also, if as you see, add in some little baby chicks or little roosters. So we are going to go ahead and get started. So for this week's picture, same supplies as last week. You can use a pencil. I'm going to use a marker to draw so you guys can see. And for this, I used color pencils to color with, but you can use whatever you have at home to color. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So for the first thing is we have to draw the shapes of our eggs. It is kind of like an oval shape, but we're not going to draw the entire oval. We're just going to make more of almost like a rainbow line that's curving up and then curving back down. This might be a little bit of a challenge, so pause the video, take your time. I have trouble with making them perfect too, so just try your best, guys. Go up and down. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the next one. And the next one. And it's okay if your egg gets kind of cut off here. Um, just try to squeeze it in as best as you can. Now when we do the next row, we're going to kind of have them look as if it's like a frog hopping from one to the next. So I'm going to actually skip that first one for now. I'm going to start here. I'm going to go up, down. And it's okay if you leave a little space. I'm going to go up and down. So now I have that filled. Now I can go back in and just add in the extra piece of that egg that is showing. And the same thing here. And when I do this one, I'm going to jump from this one to here and this one to here. And then we can still fit one more here. All right, so we have our eggs. Now, like I showed you in my picture, we have some that are eggs and some that are baby chicks. So if you would like to do just eggs, totally fine. If you want to mix it up like I did here, I'm going to actually show you how to do that, but the choice is yours. So look at your picture and decide which ones you think would be a good baby chick. So maybe I'm going to start with this one. I can have the mouth open by making two triangles. It's going to kind of look like it's looking up in the air too. And you can make any kind of eyes that you like. Because my baby chick is kind of turned, it's going to only have one eye because we can't see the eye that's on the other side of its head. You can also go ahead and add little wings. And if you want to do little feathers on the top of the head, you could go ahead and add those too. You could do just one, but if you'd like to add more, that would be fine too. And for your eggs, you can make any kind of patterns or designs that you like. Just simply think of different kinds of lines and shapes that you could do. So really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and just decorate a few of these just to get you guys started. All right, 
So now, once you have all of this done, pretend I have all my eggs done and all my baby chicks done, but once you have that done, then if you have the marker and you want to trace with it, go ahead, and then you can go ahead and get everything colored in. So like I said, the color choices are yours, the way your picture looks is up to you, and I just simply colored the background blue. Again, do whatever you would like. If you want to write something up there, if you have a lot of space, feel free. Some of your eggs may look a little smaller. That's okay. We just want to get the idea of how our eggs and baby chicks are overlapping, showing that things are close to us and things that are farther away. All right, so that's it for today. I will see you guys after we have spring break and I'll have a brand new video ready for the Monday when we get back. Enjoy guys. Bye.